what's the mitzvah that all of you can do? The mitzvah that all of you can do is remind your friends and family of a little bit of history of what's about to happen in a few days from now. In a few days, is going to be the end of the secular year. And unfortunately, most Jews in the world include themselves in this day to celebrate it, get drunk, go to Times Square, go to clubs, go on vacation, celebrate it, have lechaim, stay up till midnight, kiss a stranger, all these stupid things that people do. And what I used to do also along with the rest of the stupid people before I actually learned what it actually means. So nobody thinks that I'm smarter. I was also one of the stupid people at one point. Why? Because I didn't know. But then I found out I want to vomit. And for the last few years I've been trying to encourage as many people as possible to stop it. But Baruch Hashem with Siyat Dishmaya, we're getting more and more fans out there in the world that are watching the Shuim. So Bezat Hashem, more people will actually take the initiative to deliver the message. If you look at the history books, you'll see that the Christian calendar actually changed multiple times in the last 2,000 years. At some point, January became, January 1st became the beginning of the year, but at other points it was March, at other points it was different months. It kept changing. The Gregorian calendar that we have right now that we still use is only about 460 years old, 470 years old. Before that, New Year's was in March, not January. But how do we get to a point of celebrating this New Year, Bechlal? About 2,000 years ago, the power in the world was very different than today. The power in the world was not held by presidents, but rather by the Pope. The Pope was the most powerful. Pope had a lot more power. Not like today where he's a booba. Back then, they had the power. They would tell kings what to do. Today, the guy just buys new buildings and makes stupid comments that people make fun of. And just goes on some street and says like this, no one has an idea what's going on. But millions of people come there. Back then, the guy actually had some power. And there was a... Pope by the name of Sylvester. Now if this sounds familiar to you, that's because New Year's is not called New Year's in most places in the world. In most places in the world, including Israel, New Year's Eve is actually called Sylvester. It's named after this guy, Sylvester. Why is it named after him? Because about 2,000 years ago, he came to the most powerful country in the world, which were the Romans. And he came to the Roman Caesar by the name of Constantinos. And he told him, listen, Constantinos, I'm the Pope. You're the Caesar. We worship this J.C. Penny guy. We have holidays we create. Every other day we create a new holiday. Money is great. People keep donating to us. You don't even have to work. You don't have to do anything, actually. I have more girlfriends than anybody else, even though I tell everybody I'm a virgin. You, pagan, you worship idols, it's also the same thing, but nobody donates any money to you. You have to steal it, you have to rob it, you have to kill. Let me make your job a little easier. Become a Christian. Join us. And we'll be the most powerful people in the world. Constantinos like the deal. And they sign a deal. And, and the entire nation of Rome became the foundation of Christianity. Now one part of that deal was to eliminate the number one enemy of Christianity, a.k.a. Judaism, a.k.a. Torah. And this is when these Reshaim Erushaim went and started accusing Am Yisrael of all types of blood libels. If you look at history, Type in blood libels. Blood libels. On Google. All the people that come up is Jews. What's a blood libel? They're accusing the Jews of kidnapping the Christian kids and then eating them because we want their blood, to drink their blood. There were many, many hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and even thousands 
of accusations, but hundreds of court cases where they would take Jews to court and tell them, yeah, you kidnapped this kid that we can't find. You kidnapped this man that we can't find because you put his blood in your matzah on Pesach. Lo pachot velo yeter. If these fools actually ever read the Torah that they say they believe in, because they believe in the Old Testament, they say, if they actually ever read the Torah that they say they believe in, they see that we're not allowed to have blood even in our food. So the point is that our nation has a Torah. Our Torah tells us we are not allowed to eat blood. These people are telling us we're taking people's blood, not just animals' blood, people's blood, which is the stupidest thing in the world. Showing us this is all nonsense. It's complete nonsense, all this. Exactly. So now, this Rasha Merushak uh, Constantinos and his friend Sylvester have a bunch of blood libels. They accuse a bunch of Jews of killing Goim. They start going from place to place, from city to city, just to find Jews. To find Jews, put them all in a synagogue, and burn the place, burn the place with the people in it. Tens of thousands of Jews. When is this all happening? New Year's. New Year's. New Year's when it's happening. New Year's and Christmas. Xmas. There's a time where... That's when we kill Jews. His birthday, by the way, was the 31st of December. So now, that's why they celebrate it. So this anti-Semite, Rasha Merusha, that killed hundreds of thousands, if not millions of Jews throughout the years himself. And then millions more were killed because of him, because of his holiday that he created. For the last 2,000 years, millions and millions of Jews have been dying because of this guy. And we, ignorant, are going to go celebrate his birthday in a few days. Even if you hate religion, even if you don't believe in God, even if you're, I don't know what you are, if you're a Jew, your mom's a Jew, you're connected to a Jew, or even if you're a Christian, and you're obviously not a Shami Rusha like them, You'll never in your right mind celebrate this day. If anything, you go to sleep early just to make sure it's over. This, this horrific embarrassment to mankind. So now each one of you has a responsibility to tell this to your friends because most of your friends do not know what this means. They don't know why it's called Sylvester. Sylvester sounds like a nice name. It even sounds like a cartoon. The cartoon, uh, the, or Sylvester Stallone, or Sylvester the Cat. It's before your time probably. You know, different, it's a cartoon. No, they don't know it's a Rasha Merusha anti-Semite. In essence, it's like going and celebrating the yard site of Hitler. The yard site of Hitler, even worse, because he probably killed more people than Hitler. Oh, the Chaim, the Chaim, what the Chaim? You're lucky you're even alive, because this guy was alive, he would kill you first. Again? So that's what people need to understand. You have to tell people as soon as possible to wake up, and realize we cannot celebrate this holiday. This holiday is definitely not for Jews. It's also not for Christians. It's also not for any Muslims. It's not for anybody that loves Hashem. It's not anybody for anybody that believes in the Torah. It's not even for anybody that believes in mankind. It's a wicked, wicked holiday. And people that say, listen, I'm not celebrating him killing people. I'm celebrating just going out, hanging out with my friends. Okay, so go out on the 1st. Go out on the 29th. Go out any other day. Why do you have to go out that day? Why do you have to celebrate that day? Yes, it's not your fault that that day happens to be the day that they killed a bunch of people. But you don't have to go out that day. You can go to a restaurant any other day. It's probably cheaper. So that's the, what people don't understand.